Hey, I know, it's your lifeline to what's going on where. Who's doing what, when, staying connected with friends, even your family. Now, I know what you're thinking. Not use it? Are you crazy? I mean, my friends are going to think something's happened to me. Why don't you just ask me to stop breathing, right? <laughs> right. And besides, everything seems to be going wireless. Not just phones, so it can't be bad for you. Get real. It's easier, faster, no messy cables or wires. Progress. Can't stop it. Wouldn't want to. But what you probably don't know is that this amazing little device, this magic little gizmo, is not quite as harmless as you might think. Who knew? All I'm saying is, is that there are things you need to know in order to lessen the dangers when using these babies. So when it comes to using cellular technology, knowing about it is your power. Mine has this totally awesome camera. It fits in my hand perfect. Well, check out this touch screen. It's way better. Well, I have a keyboard. I, I don't like to text on those. Well, what's the mojo? How's the phone so smart? Batteries? <laughs> <laughs> Batteries, right. No, for real. Like, how do you get a connection? The signal? Mm, microwaves, right? Radio waves. Microwaves. You can't see or smell them, but they're everywhere. Microwave radiation varies with the power and the frequency of the source, and these waves are increasing all around us. Think of it as smog, electromagnetic smog, and like smog that you breathe, EMF smog is not harmless. Ugh, it's nasty. And major sources of microwave smog are these antennas that broadcast and receive signals to and from your cell phones. You may not be aware of them, but they are everywhere. Looking like flagpoles, playing field lights, chimneys, or even trees. It's not like cigarettes. I can't get lung cancer from using my cell phone, can I? When our parents were our age, cigarettes were cool. They were advertised on television, radio, and magazines. Now we know how deadly they are. But back then, try and convince anyone of that. Secondhand smoke is harmful too. It's not just the smoker who gets hurt. It's the same with secondhand radiation. We are much more susceptible to radiation than adults. And it does not show up right away. It builds up over time, just like smoking. No way! Holy sh! Today, some European cities report electro smog conditions, so people who are electrically hypersensitive can avoid those places. Okay, Michelle, so what are you really talking about? Acne, alien abduction? It's just that you're more likely to get a brain tumor if you have a cell phone plastered to your head all the time, and that is not cool at all. I've got enough problems as it is. <laughs> Use a wired microphone or the speakerphone function on your cell phone, but hold the cell phone as far away from your body as you can. Don't keep it in your pocket. Don't be on call all the time. Keep your phone off unless you are making a call. Now that's being smart. If you do have to be on call, like in a crowd when you're trying to reach your friends, hold it in your hand and turn it off after you have found them. Some people think texting means less exposure, but that's only because you are holding it away from your head so you can see it. Don't use your cell phone when you have weak bars of reception. The phone has to work harder and emit more radiation when the reception is poor. You're getting extra zapped. Check your phone and answer calls as frequently as you want while you keep the phone distant from your body. But you should just turn it off. Tell your friends to do the same. If it's on, it keeps communicating with the cell towers you are passing and exposing everyone even if you are not texting or talking. Just enjoy the ride! If you have to use a phone in a car or bus, go hands free. It's illegal in many areas not to. And look out for your younger sister or brother or when a child is in your care. Don't hand them the phone. That cordless phone at home, it has an antenna too. At night when you go to bed, 
turn your cell phone off and put it away from your bed. Don't keep it on and near you during the night. You'll sleep better. And if you can use a landline, don't be a tool. Use it! So think about it. Maybe some stuff you didn't know? If you want to find out more about keeping yourself and the others around you safer, go to www.isons.eu. Oh, excuse me. I'll just text her back. We can talk on the landline later.